Alright guys, so if I here, starting off from the last video, we covered um, rendering servers for 3D, so now we're going to cover 2D. So all these textures are actually just rendered with the server. So I added a counter up top, shows how many nodes are in the scene. And that's these two nodes are just the canvas layer that's holding the label itself and the camera that I'm moving on. Okay, so here's the same thing again, the same setup. But now we have reusing nodes, so that's 53,000 plus nodes. All of those are sprite to these. So let's do the same thing as usual. Let's start with one single sprite. Alright guys, so what we need to do is first we need to create a canvas item. That would be um, its representation, like the RID. That's creating that RID. Then we need to set its parent. That would be the whatever node we're using currently. Maybe the one that the script is on, if it's a node to these. As long as it's derived from our canvas item, then we need to add its texture, whatever texture you want to add to it. Next, we need to set its transform. So that's it for the most part. So let's do that. All right, guys, same thing as usual. Let's create a reference to the rendering server, just RS. Then we use RS that canvas item that create. Then now we could say RS that canvas item. We have access to all these functions to use with that right instance that we created we say uh, set parent sprite instance and then we get the canvas item from this object it should be this node 2d that we're using we'll say get canvas item so the canvas item is basically the same as scenario in the 3d version it's like an area for it to exist so you have to render there so we could add a texture to it so we say rs dot canvas item add texture rect. so first we need to pass in the sprite instance that's that already then we need to give it a rectangle, rectangle 2D. So this is basically the location that the um, that the sprite will be located on this canvas item. So for example, let's say let's set it to 64 by 64. So first we rotation uh, location and then scale. Then we need to pass in the actual texture. So let's say text, and we could go here and export export a texture. And we're gonna just show the uh, texture 2D, 2D. I could click on it and let's add the default key, uh, logo. Now we also need to set a transform. So var trans, and this is a transform 2D. So transform set is 0, 0, or vector 2, and rotation first. So let's do that. Then we see RS, canvas items transform. Then pass in our sprite and trans and that's it so in the scene i have basically have a camera here already that could move around and my label and my sprite single sprite root node so this is the node that the code is on so let's run it there you go up top to the left and you could make it bigger by changing this value here 900 by 900 why not it'll be a giant texture and this determines where the object actually draws so right now it starts from the top uh left so if you want to send a texture you'd have to make this be a half of this or negative a half of this. so let's go back to 64 so you'd set this to be 32 uh, 32 but negative so you're pulling it back you know what i mean so for example if we rotate this now 45 degrees look at it see that it's rotated but if you set this back to zero see that it's at a weird spot i wish there was a way i could put the zero position but get the idea so that should be it for this we also have other things you can do with this thing here so for example you could draw a bunch of shapes yeah you have a bunch of shapes here you could do this with the draw function on any node 2d as well but you have that option here to do and the way i do that is these functions here add circle add line add rect add polygon and a bunch of stuff like that and right here i'm just doing a polygon so i'm just copying these values and moving them to the left or to the right and then i just add that for the polygon move it over where you saw before and that should be it so if you want if you guys want to see what i did for server basically the same thing here draw grid I passed in the value and right here 
Just doing the same setup again. Remember we append, I'm appending this canvas item that we create. And we can do that. Then we need to delete it as usual. Remember to free our ID. Go back to here. Do it again. So funk. Three. Three. Under server. Dot free. Alrighty. Right instance. And that should be it for this tutorial. Let me know if you want any help in the comments with anything. Like and subscribe. Here goes.